Connor Steppen was there as LGBTQ plus people of Kentucky reclaimed their space. Ask any of the droves of people who showed up. I'm going to take a few. I'm going to count to three. They'll tell you Sunday's drag queen story time was a picture perfect moment. Everybody was so sweet and uh, accepting and loving. And we're told a crew of 75 or so showed up for the event. They were met with just as many working to keep people safe. I've lived in Louisville my entire life. I'm not going to let anyone come here and make kids feel unsafe. Absolutely not. not none of us are paid that are here. We're all doing it because we really believe that the impact that education can have. Some volunteering came armed and in combat gear. Drag Queen Storytime Kentucky said it received threats and even had to evacuate the property due to a bomb threat. In a statement, the group said, quote, our staff took immediate action. A group of no more than five showed up in opposition. They marched up and down the block holding a picture of Jesus and a sign that said, quote, Drag Queen Storytime is child abuse. I don't necessarily give people like that energy um, because I believe that it feeds into them. So and I'm going to focus my energy on being on the love and the positivity. It upsets me be, because they're using uh, our Jesus to promote hate. Mom Buffy Greenwell and her 12 year old daughter Jalen enjoyed their first time at the event. They say it won't be the last. It's honestly really wholesome and nice. There were other little uh, kids younger than me. It was amazing. Nothing uh, inappropriate. The event featured several drag queens reading LGBT inclusive children's books. There was also music and a goat petting zoo. Everyone we talked with said they left with the same takeaway. The joy. The joy here, the, the, the just the joy in the community, the, the kids, like it's it's overwhelming. That's part of it. And that's what you're hearing is you're hearing the joy that's coming from people that have got together and said that we are going to make this a priority. We're going to make education a priority. We're going to make exposure to LGBT youth uh, a priority for the world. No matter what roadblocks lie ahead, supporters say their voices won't be silenced. In Louisville, Connor Steffen, the WHAS 1119 on your side.